Hello and welcome to another video from the Gaming Toy Boy. So recently a new line of Action Man have been released. They are primarily for the children's market, but I'm sure plenty of adult Action Man collectors are going to pick these up as well. There are six in total. There are three deluxe and three basic uh, sets. Here I have two of the three basic ones. There's also a, a Action Sailor that's missing from this set. So with the basic set you obviously just get the uniform and that's it and uh, with the uh, deluxe you get the uniform and accessories that doesn't mean to say they're the same it's not like uh, you get this particular uniform say with accessories you get a completely different uniform and you get the accessories so they're all all six are all different so like I said I have the uh, two of the basic uh, sets here and I thought we'd give a rundown of uh, what I think of the uniform and the figure itself and I'll also quickly give a mention for the box which I quite like um, it's a nice uh, display box there if you want to keep your figure in the box and looks nice there displayed like that. Um, so the uniform, well overall I really like the uniform or the quality of it is good. I should say um, unfortunately Velcro has been used instead of like press studs or a zipper. So that's uh, something I'm not really fond of but obviously it's for the children's market so I can understand why they'd probably go that route. And the boots are very similar to those of uh, the 90s Action Men, quite rubbery, uh, nothing wrong with them at all, they're fine. I really like uh, the beret on this figure, that's uh, primarily why I picked this one over the deluxe version, because the deluxe version is a cotton beret, um, so I really prefer this type, reminds me of like uh, the Green Beret or the Talking Air Action Man from the 60s, so uh, I much prefer that, and that's why I picked this. Um, yeah, so uh, overall the uniform is quite nice. So we'll move on to the figure. So the figure has uh, some high points and some low points. Uh, mostly low points I would say, but uh, overall I suppose it's okay. So the legs we'll start with. Um, they are made like some of the 90s action men or uh, some Barbie dolls. They've got, they have that rubberized sort of plasticky uh, stuff that uh, has the what do you call it, a skeleton on the inside of it, so you bend the skeleton inside and it stays in place. Uh, not very fond of that really, but it's better than I suppose some blow moulded rubbish. Uh, these only move forward and backwards, there's no uh, moving outwards or anything, it's just uh, one motion. Uh, there is um, articulation at the waist, you can move that, twist them side to side, so at least uh, that's uh, something. Articulation in the arms, there's only articulation in the shoulder, there's nothing in the elbow, nothing in the wrist. Uh, the articulation in the shoulder is good, it's not just up and down, you can move it all around um, in any pose you want really. But unfortunately, like I said, there's nothing in the elbow or the wrist, so uh, that's a bit of a letdown there as well. Um, but the biggest letdown of all, I would say, is the hands, which are absolutely awful. They're like... Like they are like a Barbie hand or a Ken doll or something. You, you cannot use them for anything. They're basically useless. Which is, uh, you know, I don't understand why they've gone, you know. If you've got an action man, you want to put your gun in his hand or whatever. And obviously you can't do none of that. So that is a bit of a shame. The biggest plus point I would say here is the uh, head sculpt, which is really nice. It looks far better than uh, the 50th. Any of the 50th, uh, well, they're all the same. But uh, yeah, it looks far better than any of those. Obviously, um, people were unhappy with the 50th anniversary head sculpts. Very sort of sucked in, withdrawn looking face. Um, these are far, far better. Um, it's a shame they weren't on the 50s, really. I prefer, you know, prefer them to be reversed, really, but there you go. So overall, um, for the money, they're, they're not bad. Um, I paid uh, £16 uh, each for these. That was with free postage. Um, the deluxe figures are £20 each thereabouts. I'm not sure if uh, an extra sort of £5, pounds, 4 or £5 pounds is uh, warranted for the, some of the uh, accessories you get, but it uh, depends which way you look at it really. Um, the accessories are, <laughs> are pretty useless for the action soldier, so uh, that's probably why I pumped for this one. Well, I know I pumped for this one because I do like that uh, beret, but uh, yeah, overall I'd say they're, they're okay. They're not amazing. The head sculpts are definitely probably the best thing of the figure, and uh, the uniforms are really nice as well. Well, this one is, um, and uh, 
I think the uh, pilot one's okay. I really like the uh, helmet. That's probably the main reason why I went for that one over the, the deluxe version of that as well, because I much preferred the helmet on here, because that also reminds me more of the original Action Man ones, because you can actually sort of move the visor down there, as you can probably see. Um, yeah, so overall, I'd probably score these, say, uh, 7 out of 10. Really let down by the hands. If the hands or the arms had been better, then I'd probably give these an 8. But uh, that's uh, what I'd give them. So anyway, I'm off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative enough for you. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.